good week. Um, so this week what we're going to be doing is an updated are they going to contact you um, and also with that what we're going to be doing with it is um, are they going to be expressing to you how they feel. So it's like a are they going to contact you and tell you how they feel but it's kind of split into two parts okay. Um, so this is deck number one and this is deck number two. We're going for the lighter decks today. Spirit really drew us to the lighter decks. Um, so think about you. Think about your person and as you're thinking about your person I want you to really feel your emotions in your heart and as you feel them in your heart can you push them into the deck that you are drawn to, okay? If you can't feel them being pushed in just visualise a pink or a green colour coming from your heart into the deck that you are most drawn to, okay? So how it works is uh, how we work, me and my guides work on the strongest mutual energy um, so regardless of your individual circumstances if you put your energy into the cards it will pull out the mutual energy between you all. They like how we worked out the averages, uh, average in mass at school, if you ever remember doing that. That's how we work. Okay, so deck number one. Right, let's do this. So uh, let's go into your energy first. Are they going to contact the people watching? All right, think about your person for me. Can we get into the collectives? Thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes of the people. Okay, and let's do all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of your people. Also, the cards have boxed themselves. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, let's do this. So, yeah, the two parts. Are they going to contact you? So, can you tell me, are there people going to contact them? Okay, so the first thing that's coming through in my right ear is... Um, not the sound of Liverpool Football Club. Walk on, walk on with hope in your heart and you'll never walk alone. I know that football, Liverpool use that as their main um, anthem or song, I don't really know. Um, but it's not the Liverpool Football Club unless you have a direct link to that. Um, I'm hearing that walk on, walk on with hope in your heart and you'll never walk alone. Um, it was from one of my, I like the old movies. Um, and it's from one of the really, really old musicals. I don't know if that's where it originated from, but carousel and it's interesting like in that carousel movie uh, spirit just showed me a clairvoyant image her lover is is passed over to spirit and he's sitting in the stars and he's picking up the stars and he and he still loves her it's a very sad movie actually but it's a beautiful movie and um, and it's kind of saying with that walk on walk on with hope in your heart it's talking about this love between the two of you actually being quite unconditional well it is it's an unconditional love that's going on between the two of you um and it's just interesting that they've brought up that movie as well. So um, even if they, they physically aren't around you at the moment, even if they're not in your energy, um, they still have this very, very strong connection to you. I'm not talking about them being in spirit. I'm talking about them being here, but perhaps not close into your energy, especially if you guys aren't in contact, that this connection between the two of you is something that has foregone spirit saying foregone a lot of um stuff in past lives okay so if you thought haven't done a past life clearing and you're feeling that the energy is a little bit stagnant at the moment it might be worth going onto youtube and doing it um have a look at past life hypnosis i do do past life readings if you want one um but you guys are more than capable of doing it yourself you, you, you just gotta go on youtube and find type in past life regression or past life hypnosis or something along those lines okay and will they express how they are feeling will they express how they are feeling now it's evident very evident spirit saying it's evident that your person does love you very very much so um if you guys are not in contact it, it's coming and it's not coming as far away as what you feel it is um will they express how they're feeling we're just going to have three for them okay so your person, it's evident that they do love you, that they have these very strong emotions for you. Um, this love between the two of you, like we said a second ago, it's unconditional. It's something that has foregone um, many past lives, many times that you guys have been together. So the connection between the two of you is extremely deep. And that's why when you first met them, you really felt this pull towards them. You felt like you recognised them, that you already knew them. Um, because it is a, 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 a relationship that has foregone lifetimes. So even if you're in a twin flame relationship, 
people that are in twin flame connections you will most likely have had past lives with your people as well um so there is kind of this past life energy coming forward this is something that has been around for a long long time and the love between the two of you is unconditional now for them contacting you you have got an absolute direct yes there's no other way of seeing it you have got them getting in contact with you they will reach out to you and it's not too far in the future um probably i'm hearing a three to six okay so it could be three to six weeks uh three to six months it won't be three to six years um but it's kind of around that time frame that's your collective energy again remember it works on the mutual energy between you all um so if you want to look at your individual timings just give me a shout um obviously time is fluid and it can change but we're not normally that far out me and my guides aren't normally that far out and um, even with their free will they kind of tell me what time frame you're looking at so your collective energy is a three to six that is the time frame but you absolutely have this contact coming forward you have this movement from them it might be quite slow okay um it might be quite steady some of you might think god it's been on the back of a snail nothing's really been happening it's been really 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 slow if anything and you guys some of you guys are feeling like you've given up on the communication given up on the situation between you and your person you're thinking like you know what i'm done with this i still love them i still care for them but this is kind of taking the piss a little bit so your person is making this slow movement towards you it will still come they will still get in touch with you um there is definite action coming up in their contacting you cards okay they are at this moment in time they've kind of been reflecting on the connection that you guys share um they've realized that the love that you two share is something that could never be found with anyone else um, so even if like in your personal circumstances, even if they've said, oh, I don't want to commit, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that, your person has realized that this connection is very, very deeply engrossed um, in both of your energies and it's not something that they can easily break away from. So you have this slow, steady movement towards you, but the contact is definitely coming forward. And when we're talking about this kind of contact and will they express to you how they are feeling, um, to begin with, they won't. Okay, to begin with, they'll probably be a little bit like, well, you know, maybe potentially a little bit icy, um, a little bit cold, a little bit, oh, I don't know if I'm going to open up to my emotions. But once they've kind of thawed off a little bit, once you guys have been speaking and your emotions are kind of coming up to the surface and their ice mask starts to melt, when this melts, they will express to you how they are feeling about the situation. And from there, you've kind of got an offer coming through of stability. The thing that's really kind of important to know in this is you've got quite a lot of um, pentacles with regards to their emotions for you. So they are wanting to come towards you with a bit more stability than perhaps they have in the past. It's likely that they will tell you that they still have emotions for you or that they have emotions for you, that they love you, um, that they feel that the connection is really strong between the two of you. And if they've gone off and thought, oh, I'm going to try and, and see if anyone else is available, if that's happened, you will know about it. Um, but if they've gone off and tried to say to you, if they've said to you, oh, I want to see who else is available, it's not going to work, okay? Because they've realized that the connection and the bond between the two of you is too strong and it's nowhere for it to hide. Um, so they're very much having this realization at this moment in time that this connection is something that they can't really live without okay um, and through that you've got this direct communication coming forward you have got them also expressing how they feel but it might be they're a little bit icy to begin with once that ice melts um, and they thaw off then you've got them talking about their feelings um, the only kind of lower lower vibration card the the, the fear based card that is coming up is the nine of swords okay so with this they've got worries of deception with the fox on it, they've got worries of deception, they've got worries that perhaps um, you guys, even though you have these emotions for them, they think, well, could they actually love me for who I am and how I've treated them? Could they do that? Um, and they've got these kind of nightmares coming forward with that. I also feel with this that a lot of them are having the more negative dreams, and I don't know if you guys are as well, and I know we spoke about this before. If you're having lower vibrational dreams or nightmares, best thing to do is with a tarot deck, get your nine of swords, pop it, upside down stick it under your pillow please don't sleep with it the right way up because if you sleep with it the right way up you will have more nightmares but if you pop it upside down and stick it under your pillow it's going to reverse any of those kind of negative dreams that are coming into your energy and um, the reason for that is just going to be your subconscious mind processing everything that is going on and um, some people have asked me recently how do you know the difference between a spiritual dream and a subconscious dream now with a spiritual dream you'll always notice that it is um, more brightly colored 
95% of our dreams that we have are um, our subconscious processing things. And remember, we manifest through our subconscious as well. So this is kind of all interlinked. So when you are having a dream, 95% uh, of the time, it is gonna be your subconscious mind processing. When it is a spiritual dream, you will know it is spiritual because you will feel very, very differently from how you normally feel. It's possible that it might engage all your other senses um, and even uh, engage your psychic senses, your clairaudience, clairvoyance, clairsentiments, uh, claircognizance, clairaliens, aliens, that's my name, clairaliens or aliens. Um, it could engage them in your dream, so you're likely to be able to touch and smell. There's that possibility uh, coming forward. The other thing uh, with that dream, with a more spiritual dream, Dream as well is if your person is involved in that dream you will know it is a spiritual dream if they are not moving their mouth okay if they are moving their mouth and talking to you it is a subconscious dream if they are not moving their mouth and they're keeping the mouth stunned but they're kind of talking telepathy through to you so you know what they're saying it is a spiritual dream and that is your high, uh, their higher self coming in to visit you same with your loved ones that are passed over to spirit um, if they come to your dream and they're talking it's likely that it is your subconscious if they're sitting there and smiling I remember having a dream about my granddad just sitting there and waving at me didn't didn't talk or anything like that and I knew um, that at that point that was my granddad coming to visit me and this was you know probably before I was properly awakened um, so there is this kind of nightmares going on here. You have it on an earthly level um, that they're worried of being hurt, that they haven't treated you right, they don't know how you're going to react to them, but you're still in the back of their mind with the moon over the top. But also from a spiritual uh, dream perspective, you guys are, your people are having nightmares that they've let you go, that they've lost you, that they haven't handled this right. And this is going to be the movement towards you. So this, this is like a trigger. This is a trigger for all of these positive cards to happen, okay? So at this moment in time, you might feel that nothing is going on, but that your person is being triggered into making this movement towards you. Yes, it's slow, yes, it's steady, but it's also heart-based energy and stable energy, wanting to offer you stability, direct movement coming in. They will open up about their emotions. It's likely it won't be as soon as you get in contact. They're possibly gonna be a little bit icy when they first speak to you. But once that ice has melted, you've got this movement. Now the other thing that's coming up, the last one over here is the magician. The magician is when your energies are kind of aligning with one another, it's the magical side of things, it's when everything is working out for you, but it's also a card of manifestation. So it's a, uh, it would be a good idea for you guys to kind of manifest this communication coming forward or manifesting the uh, topic of conversation that you want about how they're feeling. You guys can bring that into your life and you can bring it into your life as if by magic and with total ease. Um, <laughs> those of you that have had manifesting plans with me will know exactly what I mean when I say that. Um, so you can manifest this bringing in, uh, bring it into your life, manifest this being brought, brought into your life. Um, you can manifest that. Um, if you need a manifesting plan, give me a shout. When I first started the channel, I did a manifesting video. Um, it's linked in all the public descriptions, so you can go and watch that. Um, and if you want your own personal tailored plan with tools and techniques to bring in what you want from your life, then uh, just give me a shout because I do those. Um, they have got a really good success rate. So let me know if you need me for that. But you're more, again, more than capable of doing it yourselves. Um, but if you need me, I'm here, okay? So it looks like they are gonna contact you in kind of the, it feels to be the immediate future. Some of you guys, it's the more near future, but it feels to be more of an immediate future for the majority of you. And there is definitely, definitely this heart-centered energy. The other thing that Spirit's saying uh, with this is you might feel that at times you've been banging your head against a brick wall with them, um, but remembering that that love that stands between the two of you is stronger than any circumstances or situations that you guys have been involved in which is kind of a really positive thing um so even though you might feel that um it's been frustrating and circumstances have dictated that you guys have gone the way that you are underneath all of that and i just got underneath it all by no doubt um I think it was no doubt underneath it all the person does very very much love you and um, they've just got a lot of fears kind of stepping up into their mind now the other thing that i've just seen and i need to remember the song when i looked at this i just had a clairvoyant image of a song and it is i want to say celine dion and it is the one uh, i can see the music video the one uh if you touch me like this and you hold me like that it was 
barely a dream, but it's all coming back to me. Again, this is where your person is currently at. They're having this massive wake up call. They're having this big triggering energy coming forward. And through that, you have this communication and you have them talking about their feelings for you. So one thing over here, this trigger is going to result in all of these cards of movement and action. And at the end, you have your success. Okay, so really positive, really, really positive. Hold tight, my button moons. Fasten your seatbelt, in the words of, uh, got pendulum then, fasten your seatbelt, but drum and bass being brought in by spirit. Um, pendulum, fasten your seatbelt, you're in for a ride now, um, it's all moving into your favour, okay? All right, that is deck number one. So if you guys need me, uh, drop me a message. Um, everything that I do, all the different types of readings and manifesting plans, it's all on the website. You can go have a look at it, www.mysticlovetarot.com. Um, and if you need me, just drop me a message. Okay, guys, lots of love, and I will speak to you soon. Bye, darlings. Okay, beauties, deck number two, let's do this. So, as I said at the very start, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your circumstances and situations. A bit like how we worked out the average at maths at school, when you added all the numbers together, came out with the mutual number, we do it with energy. So I go into all your energies, go into all your people's energies, and we pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all. Energy translation, essentially. Okay. Think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes, and or possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes. So I have got a Green Day song coming through my right ear, and this was, I want to say it was Basket Case. It's a long time. Green Day was one of the first bands I ever saw, you know. Um, do you have the time to listen to me whine about nothing and everything all at once? That's all I can uh, that's all I can remember from the song. But anyway, it's coming through my right ear for you all. Okay, uh, let's just do all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes. That's possibly gonna be your guys' energy, it's possibly gonna be your person's energy. Um it's essentially it's a little bit of um confusion essentially and also the lyrics am I paranoid or am I stoned so if that brings up issues of addiction that perhaps some of you people have had that's one thing um, and the other side of things is the paranoia um, that perhaps you or your people are a little bit worried about the the situation wondering is what's actually happening what's actually going on so it's actually if you go into the essence of puppy um if you go into the essence of what those lyrics are um you'll be able to get different triggers from different meanings from each of the lyrics take what resonates with you okay so is that person going to contact them now what we're going to do is i'm going to do exactly what i did for uh, debt number one is are they going to contact you and are they going to tell you how they're feeling so it's kind of linked in the two of them all together are they going to contact you Woo! Nice save. <laughs> I feel like I need one more for are they going to contact you? Fabulous. And will they express their emotions? Okay, so your person is having a little bit of a wobble, as I would call it. It's a little bit of a wobble. Now, regardless of where you are with your person it feels that they have found the energy between the two of you a little bit too intense now this could be very much based upon um the spiritual connection that you guys share rather than the actual physical earthly connection you share they can feel it perhaps on an energetic level if you have been sending your person energy um we would just say that you kind of take a little bit of a step away from that at the moment and just send them unconditional love and um, send them like a rose gold pink color and um, also um rose gold pink highlights uh, the ascended master or whoever you, however you want to say it, Jeshua, um, I call him Jeshua, some of you guys will call him Jesus, um, but rose gold, pink, unconditional love is his colour, and if you send it to your person, it's really focusing on the unconditional love that is around them, so if you've been sending them different types of energy, we would just say, step, take a step back and send it unconditional love to them, they've had a bit of a freak out, okay, now they're feeling very sad about this situation at the moment, they're feeling that they've really um, either lost you or they haven't been very 
honest with you and you you guys are just feeling you guys are feeling very sad your person is feeling very sad and you're echoing on that you're mirroring one another so if you think your person is completely okay completely fine and nothing um is wrong with them you're mistaken okay they are feeling very very low and they are feeling very very sad now some of you guys might have had issues with regard to pregnancy with your person or with regard to children or perhaps your person has already got kids children are being brought into this now the other uh, side of this so those of you that aren't related to children it's like this relationship um was something that you guys wanted this was where your dreams were going and there has been something that has stepped in the way that has kind of really re-tipped the scales on the situation and your person is actually feeling very very sad about that at this moment in time they do want to be with you they have got very strong emotions for you they care for you deeply um, and they are really suffering the losses of where you guys are at this moment in time it feels that for you two to start again, there is going to be a need for this cycle to come to a close and a new chapter to begin. And I've just had a really clairvo uh, strong clairvoyant image of the book, the page being turned to the next chapter. So at the moment, you're kind of on the very end of the last chapter and you, you guys haven't quite turned the next page but there is movement coming forward with this turning a page okay there is new pages coming forward the next chapter is soon going to begin um so it feels that you guys have been struggling that you've been fighting some of you guys are going to feel like you've been fighting a one-way battle that perhaps your person hasn't fought for you in the way that they should have that they let you go or they released you and you're feeling very very low about that at this moment in time now with this card over here i've just seen uh, as i was looking at it it kind of all caught fire so this is like um if you wanted to look at it a bit like dominoes it's a bit like the domino effect so one domino is tipped then the next one then the next one then the next one but i saw these ones kind of being set on fire so the passion between the two of you is very strong the passion is being ignited and even if you guys are in this very very sad very very low energy you have this ignition ignition of passion okay so this relationship between the two of you is not over it is at a temporary standstill and spirit is saying the word dormant and i just saw a um hedgehog asleep it's in hibernation okay so you might feel that nothing's happening again that you you're at the end of your tether like you don't really know what's going on this relationship is not finished between the two of you but it is simply in hibernation um and it's in hibernation because it needs a bit of time out i know i know don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> it needs a bit of time out the reason why it needs a bit of time out is because there's other things that are that are that are at play here okay so it isn't necessarily just about the two of you it's about the circumstances you guys are in it's about the connection that you guys have um, and these these step stepping stones that you need to take for this connection to move forward in the right direction so even if it feels very low very sad and you're you really are lower frequency at the moment it will come back round this situation will come back round it's just if you try and view it as that it's just gone to sleep for a little bit um, so that you can perhaps go your separate paths, do what you need to do at this moment in time, but you will come back together. Um, and with that, we have the helix. And I know I talk about the helix most readings, but it always kind of comes up um, a bit like your DNA, how it waves in and out. You guys have a connection that you will wave it in and out of each other's lives, okay? Um, and your paths will cross again. So you might feel that you're here at the moment, but there will be a crossing of your paths again. The other thing that you can do with that, if you wanted to, is uh, ask the universe for a rendezvous. So if you're feeling like you haven't seen them or you want to speak to them and nothing's really happening, um, say to the universe, dear universe, what energy, space and consciousness can I be to have a rendezvous with blah, telling your person's name um, as if by magic and with total ease um, with that you, you might want to for the ladies anyway you'll probably be like a little bit unsure about wearing your makeup out the house etc etc um, but it's quite a strong vibrational uh, frequency for you two to meet up together and with that there is no kind of agenda to it it's just asking that you guys are at the same place same time and it's something that the universe is very capable of doing okay um, with little resistance the resistance when i'm talking about resistance that comes from your thoughts and your feelings kind of interfering uh with the aligning of your what you want aligning with your your manifestations okay so with little resistance you can ask for a rendezvous so the contact from your person yes it will come back you have knight of pentacles okay slow steady movement towards you um 
with this i've just seen as well that a lot of them will still be watching your social media so if you're thinking that they've just kind of vanished into thin air and they haven't seen you um or they've blocked you or they've deleted you or anything like that please don't fret they're likely to have a fake account or um another way of means of looking what you're up to i.e using their friends uh facebook or someone in their family's facebook or social media, Instagram, etc. They will be watching what you are up to. So they haven't vanished completely. They are still in the background um, and they're in the background of your mind and you are in the background of their mind. And you definitely have this kind of unification coming between the two of you where you will be reconnecting with each other. Please listen to your um, own intuition on this, okay? Um, be guided by what you are feeling in your gut instinct. Sometimes, uh, with, psych with psychics, um, you know, you can get your own little head interfering with it. So it's really important that you listen to your gut instinct rather than what you're hearing in your mind. Um, when it comes to your connection with other people, you'll be completely fine. But when it comes to your connection, you could perhaps um, be thinking things rather than actually sensing them and hearing them. So Spirit is saying, just please pay attention to your gut instinct. Um, your guides as a whole, my, my guide is saying that your guides as a whole um, do feel your pain. They do know where you are and how bad you are suffering with this um, and they can hear you, okay? So if you've been shouting, screaming, hitting your pillow, crying, they know what you are going through and they want you to know that they are there to support you, okay? They, they haven't left you, they haven't abandoned you. It's just that because you're emotional at this moment in time, you can't perhaps hear them or see them or feel them. Um, so with that, again, really listen to your gut instinct with it all. So you have this merging of your energies coming together. You have the end of a chapter and the beginning of a new one. You have slow, steady movement. You have things that have the jigsaw pieces have got to fit the dominoes have got to fall this isn't something that can be rushed but you can ask for a rendezvous for this to happen now you also have the nine of swords i was just explaining in deck one um about dreams okay oh shot off um i was explaining i think it was oh no it wasn't that one i was explaining deck number one about dreams and what the nine of swords can mean so rather than repeating it if you want to go back uh, to deck number one have a look at that um i've spoke about the difference between subconscious minds and spiritual dreams um, and how you can tell the difference uh, so go back and have a listen to to the uh, in deck number one talking about dreams and nightmares your person um this is kind of eating them alive what's happened um they are feeling very very low about this energy and they know that they've they're very worried that they've lost you they're very worried that um they've caused so much water under the bridge that you might not want them back and that is where their concern and worry is and this is why they're having a little bit of time out from the situation as well and um, but you have got this reconnection coming between the two of you and it's interesting it was the knight of pentacles that flew out of my hand as well so this is saying you know that this movement is coming all right won't be in your time frame it'll be in the universe's time frame but if you wanted to speed things up you can manifest it um, and also ask the universe to bring you a rendezvous so will they open up to you about their feelings when they do get back in contact? Probably not. Not for a while. Um, they will be a little bit torn because they don't know if they open up to you about their emotions and how they're feeling. They don't know how you are going to handle it. So there's very much just kind of I'm going to sit on the sideline and see what happens. I'll see if you lot watching will speak about your emotions first. And if you speak about the emotions, then I might reciprocate. But they're going to be a little bit worried and that it's gonna cause some kind of conflict, kind of arguments between the two of you. So they're really gonna just test the water first. It's not gonna be messaging you and suddenly expressing how they feel. They'll come in, test the water with you, um, see what's going on, see how you're feeling, um, and then the possibility of communicating with their emotions is there. They're still going through this period of transformation. When it comes to them talking about their emotions, they're gonna be wanting to protect everything that they've worked towards as well. If they start talking to you about their emotions they're going to be feeling a little bit vulnerable so with that vulnerability they aren't going to want to open up excessively right at the start about their emotions now as time progresses between the two of you and that chapter the book again the chapter is well and truly being read and um, that is when they will open up to you about their emotions but it's not going to be for a while because they don't want to feel vulnerable and um, they don't want their emotions to make them kind of they they, they have this 
misconception um, that their emotions can make them weak. Now, some of them might have that from childhood. Perhaps uh, an example of this would be the father left um, and it was just them and their mum and they had to, for, for the male energies, they had to be this kind of male provider and they had to look after the mum and they really buried those emotions in deep because they needed to be the st stable man that they are today. It's just an example. Um, and so as they've grown and as they've got older, um, they still haven't opened up about their emotions because to them, they felt that if they told their mum how they were really feeling, it would make them feel weak. Um, and their mum would see them as weak rather than this, this person, this, this child as such, that has to look after their mum and support their mum. So they have that confusion around that and that's another reason why they won't open up about their emotions um, to you straight away. It's somewhere where it's something that they have to do when they feel less vulnerable. Um, that's just an example. Um, it could be anything like that along those lines, maybe childhood issues, etc, etc. But the gist of it all is if they open up about their emotions, they worry that it makes them vulnerable. So they hide away from that. They've been going through this period of transformation um, and they're, they're kind of blocking their own transformation in that by not accessing and allowing their emotions to flow and um, that's something again that time will have to to time will be the healer spirit zone time will be the healer um conflicting energy as well they don't want it to turn into an argument um if you don't hear what you want to hear if they kind of again don't talk to you about their emotions they're a bit worried that you might fly off the handle or or you know you guys have got back in contact and they don't talk to you about emotions they worry that they'll, they'll lose you again um, the other thing with that spirit is saying is that they might come forward with a more sexual energy in their communication towards you the reason for that um, is because again emotions make them feel vulnerable sex um, is a very strong mutual ground that you two share together because the chemistry is so strong so it's likely that they might talk to you about their sexual um, about sex they might talk to you about sex rather than their emotions to just kind of cover that vulnerability up so um is there a timing on the communication between the two of you you're looking at about a four to six okay um that's your collective energy um, again, if you want to look at individual timings, just give me a shout, but you're looking probably about four to six weeks, four to six months, um, anything along those lines. Deck two is slower than deck number one, um, but the reason for that is because there's a lot of pain and heartache and needing to heal from the situation. Um, I hate saying this because I always find that a lot of psychics say it and it's quite generic, but I've really just had a very clear clairvoyant image of you guys watching Walking Out in Nature. Um, so please go soak up some other earth, soak up some Gaia. Um, it will really give you that healing space and time that you need. Um, I can also see headphones being put on, so blast out some music that's going to make you feel better. Um, really will be healing energy for you and it's going to keep you grounded with everything that's happening as well. Don't lose faith, okay? This situation will come back around. Um, possibly not in the timing that you would like, but it will come back around. Your person has got these very strong emotions for you. If they didn't have strong emotions, they wouldn't be feeling this pain of loss or heartbreak so much. And they really are feeling that. It's not just you guys, they are feeling it too. Um, so eventually they'll get in contact with you and they, they probably won't talk to you about how they're feeling, not for quite some time. But once the time has gone on, um, they will. I just saw a wound being bandaged as well, so it really is um, time to heal your wounds. Um, look after yourselves, go gentle on yourselves, don't be too harsh on yourselves, you know? Um, don't, don't feel that this is something that you've done. Don't put all the energy onto you, okay? And that is debt number two. So if you need me, drop me a message. I'll put all the details in the description for you. Have a really good week, guys. Uh, love you all lots, and I'll speak to you soon. God bless. Bye.